Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be stepping into the Animal Kingdom once more in order to add to this here encyclopedia, the Neko Neko no Mi Model Leopard. The Neko Neko no Mi Model Leopard is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to become a big old kitty cat as well as a human kitty cat hybrid, specifically a leopard though, obviously. And it was consumed by Mr. Serious Business himself, Rob Lucci, as well as first revealed to our eyes during the Water 7 arc. The fruit takes its name from the Japanese word for cat being Neko, which I imagine most anime and manga fans are probably already pretty familiar with by now. Whereas the model is taken directly from the English word for leopard being Reopado. This is despite the fact that there is a Japanese word for leopard being Hyo. And not only that, but this kanji is actually used in the the official naming of the fruit, except it's pronounced Reopado instead of Hyo. I guess you know that's that's the thing we can do in Japanese. In any case, the English translations of the fruit are fairly straightforward in a roundabout way, with Viz opting to call it the Cat Cat Fruit Leopard Model, while Funimation went with the more direct Cat Cat Fruit Model Leopard. All right, so hopping into the powers of this particular fruit, it's pretty important to note from the outset that this is a carnivorous zoan. And while the Neko Neko no Mi model leopard may not technically be the first one we have examined in the encyclopedia, it does mark the first time we became aware of them in the series. And what a carnivorous zoan means is that the user of this fruit, by the mere act of consuming it, will gain a more predatory and bloodthirsty nature due to the specific creature they become. And in this case, it's probably a good idea to know that leopards are in fact the most ferocious members of the cat family, despite being roughly half the size of the more celebrated members such as lions and tigers. So naturally, the Neko Neko no Mi model leopard becomes suited to those more combat-oriented people in the world, especially when we take into consideration the strength and speed benefits that come in addition to the increase in general aggression. For example, leopards are phenomenally fast creatures, able to reach speeds of up to 58 kilometers per hour, as well as leap up to six meters and hunt creatures three times their size and even carry their prey up trees with their incredibly strong mouth thing. Speaking of, it should also be said that leopards are extraordinary climbers and very agile creatures in general, highly adaptive to essentially any environment they find themselves in. This goes a long way to making them, as well as the user of this fruit, incredibly deadly. And in fact, there is even a historical record from the Himalayas of a serial killer who managed to alleviate 125 people of their lives over an eight year period in the early 1900s. And long story short, the killer turned out to be a leopard, which is quite terrifying because it was said to have broken through doors and burst through windows, making it quite an effective assassin. And with that in mind, let's segue into how Rob Lucci has made use of his leopardy powers. And he certainly does not disappoint. As a skilled assassin, Lucci uses the speed and power granted by the Neko Neko no Mi model leopard to enhance his own skills in the art of the Rokushiki techniques, with one specific example being his increased power in regards to Shigun, purely thanks to his leopard claws. But Luchi is also one of the rare Zoan users in the series who has been able to unlock a form outside of the standard three Zoan transformations or an awakening, through a technique known as Seimei Kikan, or life return. Through its use, Luchi is able to compress the wide and muscular form granted by the human beast hybrid transformation, allowing him to access far greater speed, although it does come at a cost of losing some physical power. And just to add to Luchi's versatility, he has actually been known to use the full beast form of the devil fruit in combat, which is something that is rarely seen, as most Zoan users will use this exclusively for travel or transportation. But the other form we need to discuss is the inevitable idea of awakening. And to put it quite simply, the idea of a gigantic leopard human is quite terrifying. At the time of this recording, we haven't actually seen an awakened carnivorous Zoan, but if they manage to stay on trend, we should expect a creature even larger than the awakened Zoans we're used to, as well as something uncontrollably predatory and wild. I mean, it might just be Rob Lucci embracing his new leopard persona, but this fruit in particular seems to have a great effect on the primal instincts of its user. One that, in the form of an awakening, could easily inhibit any thought of previous humanity and go on to become a rampaging beast. So while this form would undoubtedly grant the user preposterous power, I do feel like it would be nigh on impossible to control. And as a result, awakening this fruit may be undesirable to achieve. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a leopard human. In addition to becoming wildly bloodthirsty, your newfound leopardness may have other impacts on your ability to socialize, as leopards are very solitary creatures. So if you're more of an extrovert, you may find yourself retreating into the trees more often than usual. Of course, if you're a natural introvert, then I assume you've already built yourself a nice comfortable tree house that nobody knows about and where you're watching this video from right now. So you should expect no change. To add to the adaptability of leopards, they fare remarkably well with very little water as they are able to efficiently survive simply from the moisture of their prey. And finally, just be aware that as with domestic cats, leopards are known to purr when they are happy. So just, you know, be prepared to start purring in public should a sudden jolt of happiness take you. But what we essentially have here is a super powered Zoan. The benefits the user receives are heavily physically skewed, but they do come with the potential detriments of the natural instincts of a leopard significantly impacting how you proceed with life post consumption. If that kind of predatory nature suits you, as it did Lucci, then we have a natural fit. Congratulations! However, if you're quite happy living a peaceful existence in the vegan-friendly suburb of Newtown in Sydney, Australia, then you should probably give this fruit a pass and wait for next week's. And with that, we are going to commit the Neko Neko no Mi model leopard to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia.
Next week, we'll be looking at a devil fruit owned by the most forgotten member of CP9 being Funk Freed with the Zozo no Me. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Neko Neko no Mi Model Leopard. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.